Hello, hello, all you trainers out there. Welcome back to Sheer Shenanigans. Um, this will probably go up a little bit later than when I'm filming it, but I literally just finished filming um, Mini Pull Monday for this week, and I, I had just been complaining about not being able to find cards anywhere at all today, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then my sister came from work, and she brought me this, which appears to be uh, a quite sizable binder. Oh my gosh, it's not even going to fit on screen. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, a binder from someone at work who's just, I guess, done with these. So, uh, I think she said she paid for them or he gave them to her. And I just, phew, there's so many. I'm really excited. I went through the first four pages and I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to film this. So, let's go through these together because there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, some of it's a little damaged. Uh, but he's, I, I guess he said that the first few pages are stuff that he played with and then the rest should still be collector quality. So... We'll see how, how well that holds up, but I'm just excited to have a lot of these because on the very first page, we've got three new break cards I don't have, including Luxray, which I love. Pyro is really cool, but the clots are. Um, but in the top row, we've got an Ash Greninja, which I was never able to get a hold of just because I didn't know they existed. Um, another Lunology X, so that'll be able to be... Um, either I'll keep this one and give another one away or some something like that in the future. Um, a Groudon EX. Then those breaks I mentioned, Chestnut EX. A Gallade Full Art EX. Thunderous EX. Just a whole bunch of cool stuff. And then, um, ignoring that super, super ripped up Genesec EX, we've got a whole bunch of good stuff in here, because we've got, I want to say, a Neo Genesis Unknown D, so that's a new unknown for me. Base Set Abra, <laughs> Braviary, base, base Set Kadabra, Suicune, Pyroar, Hydreigon? I don't think I ever really learned how to say this one correctly, but still, one that I don't have, or at least not that version. Ampharos, which I believe is holographic. If not, there was one on a future page. Magikarp, got a Beware, a, a Reverse Hollow, Evolutions Growlithe. Like, these ones over here were base set, but this is Evolutions. Uh, Hoopa, which I don't think I have this art of Hoopa yet. Palisand, Bi-Barrel, just a whole bunch of really fun stuff. I didn't even notice this one was missing one earlier. I was just too excited to see all the Pokemon. Snow Runt, Jigglypuff, a whole flippin' page of Litten, Tora, Cat, and Incineroar, including um, a variation of this Incineroar that has the Shatter Hollow, which if it's like the uh, current Charizard for the decks for Vivid Voltage, I'm gonna say that that's most likely um, from a deck as well. Then this page has a bunch of Clink, Clang, and Clink, Clangs, although reverse that order, so Clink, Clang, and Clink, Clangs. Alright, and then these are the last two pages that I saw before I was like, no, I gotta film this. This is so much cool stuff. So, I don't know, maybe it'll be bust. Maybe you won't ever see this video, because maybe past these four pages there's nothing. We'll have to see. But so we got a Blastoise, so that'll be nice to put in my decks, because the only Blastoise I have right now is a Blastoise EX, or a Blastoise and Piplup, maybe? So I'll be able to move that to, like, the, the higher power card binder, and then put a Blastoise in the standard Generation 1 binder. Avalug, Torkoal, Ampharos, this one is the hollow? Nope, I guess not. Maybe neither one was hollow. Um, the pages are a little bent and torn in some places, so we'll need to probably sleeve some of these, put some of these in, in a better binder. They look like they're the Ultra Pro pages, but they look like they're a bit worn. And these, these cards were clearly well-loved, so it's really nice that he would do this. But anyway, uh, Braviary, Ursa Ring, Boldor, a Pokemon Center Lady. Wow, that caught even on my mat. Goodness. A Grand Bull, which I think I actually have a Snubble that has matching art where the Snubble is helping at a stand like this, or possibly stealing from a stand, and now it's helping as a Grand Bull, so that's really cool. A reverse Hollow Licky Licky. We got a Weezing up here. A Gallade. A trainer and Reverse Hollow, which I think I might have as well. A Bursting Balloon. A reverse Hollow Scrafty, who looks very ready to kick your butt. A reverse Hollow Mantine. A Volcanian that's not a promo like mine is. It's not even hollow, so that's pretty cool. A Meditite, reverse hollow. Alright, so now we're on to new stuff I haven't seen yet, so let's see. Oh, we got a Breaks in. And a reverse hollow. Oh, that's a reverse hollow Breaks in, too. Reverse hollow Magnemite. Uh, is that a Plasma? It is. Team Plasma Watchog. Got a reverse hollow of that Mankey I seem to pull a ton from that set. A Noivern. Reverse hollow Magmar. Sorry, I'm like looking right past the camera and like, oh, look at how cool these cards are. So let me see if I can try and keep them on screen a little bit better. Reverse Hollows of Krogunk, Tangla, and Eevee. That's a really cute Eevee. And Energy Evolution's a really good one to have for um, decks because it lets you, lets you choose an energy or rather attach an energy from your hand 
and then you can search your deck for an evolution that uses that's that same type so like you could attach a fairy energy and get a sylveon or sylveon gx so it works out really well as long as your deck is structured properly then you have reverse hollow scrafty scorched earth verbank city gym with the silver border oh oh yeah i wanted to show that poor 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 genesect apparently hit the crap out of my camera so this one's really sad. I noticed while I was looking at it, it's actually got a signature on it. So this, while definitely obliterated at this point, is actually my first ever, <laughs> oddly enough, World Championship card. So this is from, two, from 2014, and then it has the signature of the trainer who used it in battle. So that's really cool. I think even in the condition it's in, I'm going to keep it around, because I've just not had one of those before, and that's really cool in my opinion. And like I said, these were clearly well-loved. I intend to keep them loved. So, anyway, let's move back to the page we were on. I'm sorry to the person, or I guess it's a couple people now, who said, yeah, I do want to see your binder, so that I'm going through someone else's binder first. But it is technically mine now, so I guess that's going to have to count for something, at least. All right, where were we? All right, so we've got a Polyrath, a Hard Charm, a Machamp, and then th these two are both hollow. Now, a champ is pretty cool. I'm not familiar with the symbol on there. I think that's Furious Fists or something like that. It was a set I missed while I wasn't collecting. A Clefairy I've never had before. Scruppy I have had before. And a Carbink. Oh, wow. And then a whole bunch of trainers. So we've got Lysander, Colrus, Audino Spirit Link, Professor Juniper, Verbank City Gym again. Oh, yeah. That's why I had wanted to look at this one because it has silver. I thought maybe it was a championship one as well. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, so, oh, these are too. So I'm going to guess most of the ones with the silver backing like that are world championship, because these ones are from 2015. And, oh, that's why, because I saw the signature there. So this one is Patrick Martinez, it looks like. This one as well. So that's really cool. I wonder how you actually end up getting the champions packs like that, championship packs. But uh, regardless, that's a pretty neat find to have, and like I said, my first one, so second and third, etc. here. So these are all except the Audino Spirit Link, it looks like. Anyway, uh, Professor Juniper, Verbank City Gym again, Super Scoop Up, Ultra Ball, N, and Hyper Hypotonic Laser. Two of those, it looks like, and another Professor Juniper up there. We got Plume Fossil. And then it looks like we're back on to Pokemon now. So we've got a Golette, a Rosalia, and a Gibble. And a Roserade, Bunnelby, and Zerua. And at least four of those are new to me. So that's some new art, which I always love to get. Alright, oh, we ran into another beat-up one. But not, as, not quite as bad. But so we got Tangela, an e-reader, King. So this card, um, if you have an e-reader, you can actually scan it in and it does something in, I think, Ruby or Sapphire? Or Ruby and Sapphire, I guess. If it was going to do one, it'd be both. Um, but I have neither an e-reader nor that game. So, not really a big deal. Just always a little sad to see cards in that condition. But still pretty nifty to have. Got a Phoebus. Possibly the cutest entry I've ever seen. A Durant. A Dredagon. Weedle, Jaw Fossil, and Dot. We have Team Plasma's Skarmory. That's a really cool card. Heavy Ball, Yveltal. I don't have a Yveltal yet. Oh, well, I might have a, have a promo from one of those other sets. One of those big, big sets with the Magirna and Volcanion. I think one of them might have had Yveltal, but possibly not. Um, looks like a half-art Wishcash. A dual-type Galvantula, so that's got the electric and grass type for Bug. Energy Retrieval. Pokemon Ranger, Super Scoop Up again. And another Hypotonic Laser. That's still Patrick Martinez, so I'm going to say it's still 2015. Alright, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a team player something, or there. Team Flare Hyper Gear Head Ringer. Oh, okay. Oops, let's get that on screen. I've just never seen a card with a red border like that, and I guess it's not even the border itself because that's silver still. Um, but I missed a whole lot of the Team Flare stuff because, again, I wasn't collecting at the time. But uh, this is a whole bunch of new stuff I've not seen before. Um, Ultra Ball, Kakuna, Lysander again, Joltik, Tierno, Double Colorless Energy, Zero Sick, I guess, and Ninja Boy. Again, a lot of those are from the World Championship 2015, it looks like, as they're signed by Patrick Martinez. Then we've got a Slackoth, 
a plusle and a tentacle. I actually have the matching mine into this plusle and the plusle as well. Um, and they're actually dancing with each other, which is really cute. Torchic, this is another example of a card um, that somebody obviously loved before it was in my possession. Somebody took the time and effort to sleeve and put this in a top loader. Um, so even though I didn't have a Torchic when I got a hold of that card, so I'd, I'd, normally I would put that in my binder, I actually ended up leaving it there, and it is uh, taped in place in the back of my binder, so it'll be protected forever for whoever that was that, that loved their Torchic so much that they just had to put it in a top loader. And we've got Special Charge, Dano, that Rufflet I can't seem to not get, <laughs> Dewat and Clauncher. Uh, up here, I probably wonder if it'd be easier to be moving this camera instead of the binder, but... We're just going to keep going this way. Focus Sash, Cub Chew, Trap Inch, Yanma, Krogunk, Surskit, and then a three pack of Halucha. So nothing really of note there, but in very nice condition. And a whole bunch of these Chimchar and an Evolutions Park Nine. Skitty and Super Scoop Up, and an interesting looking Absol. It's another one that looks like he must have put in a deck or something. It's a bit beat up, but I like that art. It's getting ready to do something for sure. Then we've got Nuzleaf, Armor Fossil Shield on, and a Bergmite, another Trainer N, still signed by Patrick Martinez, and Geodude, Palpad, a uh, Holographic Tauros, another one that's seen better days, but it's kind of nifty looking in it. I don't know, I don't know what this symbol is down here. It's just like a Pokeball with a two. It's not one I'm familiar with. It's just got a regular back, it looks like. So it's not any sort of championship one. And then we've got a Tangle and a Fennekin. A couple energy retrievals and a Litwick up there. Uh, no, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Drift Bloom, Drift Floon, and Professor's Letter. It's kind of interesting that this person, um, for the most part, there's not really any sort of organization. But when there is, they always seem to go final evolution first and then down and down. So, I don't know. That's that's just nifty to me that they they do it differently because I always go from the basic stage up to the second evolution. Um, Evo Soda, which will be nice. I don't have a ton of those and I use them in my deck when I can. A holographic Altaria with a Sylveon and Dedenne in there. Um, this was something I saw recently on a Charizard card of all things. It's these little symbols down the side. I'm not sure what they mean. I'll have to look into it and get back to you. And then we've also got a Timber on the page. And oh my gosh, we are only about halfway through this binder, so... I uh, hope you're still sticking with me because it's... Oh my gosh, there's so many cards! This is the coolest thing! This, this, this is all because all those cards that I was trying to find today to go shopping. Nothing there. They're all in this binder. That's awesome. So we got Flappy, Trico, Drifloon again. Joltik, Apom, and Anorith. And the very bottom has a Crocorock, a Mareep, and a Tierno. Got a Beedrill, a Tepig, and an Evolutions... Charmander, made to look like the base set. Lapras, Hippopotas, um, a couple different variations. C dot, that Mareep again, and another Drift Bloom. Oh, come on, pagey page. There we go. Oh, I see an Amara up there. Sorry about that. So we've got Staryu, Amara, and a base set Bulbasaur. It looks a little bit better on camera than it does in person, but now that I look, you can kind of see as well. It's uh, got some dark spots and some uh, damage at the top there, but still very, very cute Bulbasaur. Always love that art. Litwit, Pancham, and Starmie on the next row, and then a Lampant, a Professor's Letter, and the Apom with the little rainbow in the back. And that Mareep one more time. We got a Potion, a Reserve Ticket, Jinx, Ralts, Hoopa again, and that Lanoon, a Haunter, and a Slowbro Spirit Link. Alright, we've got another muscle band. These are all still Patrick Martinez, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that this young man managed to uh, get a whole deck for the championship one. Cause I, I assume that's how that works. Not 100 percent though. So anyway, muscle band, verbing city gym again, energy retrieval, electric, uh clauncher, watchdog, brock's grit. That's an evolutions one. Whoops, Brock's grit, uh, evolution stiglet, wabafet. Got a Voltor, Minchino, Larvitar, Litleo, Duskull, Tierno, Pokemon Center Lady, a Rapidash I've actually never seen before. It's cute art. I'm not sure why its uh, horn is going back instead of forward, but you know, artistic license, I guess. Another energy retrieval. 
Then we've got Diglett, Spoink, and Vulpix, a Persian, another Ultra Ball, and Professor's Letter, Monferno, Meowth, and Shana, or Shauna, rather. Sorry, I know it was Shana. <laughs> and it looks like we're getting into things that I have actually seen before and have some of. Some more Meowths and Persians, a Toxicroak, a Ponyta, Tierno, Sleeves Falling Into Shot, Ninja Boy, Monferno, and Ego Soda again. It looks like a bit of more of the same. Just got some Ninja Boys, Energy, Rapidash, Persian, etc. Oh, and a Fiery Torch. That one's different. Got a Timer Ball, a Crab Brawler, Potion, Pessimian, Netball, Energy Retrieval, Sandy Gas, Torkoal, and Netball. Okay. Thought maybe as I went I would see, like, oh, okay, this is how he's organizing. Now I have no idea for the most part, but... That's alright, it's still pretty dang cool. We got Sandy Guest, How and Lily, Stuffle, Professor Kakui, Ultra Ball, Timer Ball, Makuhita, and Rog and Rolla. And then as I was saying, I was hope I, I hope I would see. I saw this. It's a Gengar. It's one of the last Pokemon that I actually need for my Generation 1 binder. I'm like at six Pokemon or less. So I'm stoked because I have not gone out of my way to get a Gengar. I'm hoping to either pull one or something like this where I buy a lot of cards. Like, not lot in quantity, but lot as in, oh, here's a lot of 50, 100, etc. And get a Gengar in that. So, that's really cool. Excited about that one. Being able to get to five or under now. Woohoo! Alright, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Stunfisk, Ambipom, another Ninja Boy, Drifloon with different art, the Happy Rainbow Apoms. Then we've got Ninja Boy, uh, Crobat and Golbat, and other ones by Patrick Martinez. I really hope I'm reading that name right, because that's what it looks like it says. But I know nothing about the competitive scene as far as, like, who's done what. Okay, then we got Joltik, AZ, Maintenance, Ambipom, Litwick, Shauna, another Golbat, got Flaffy and Lampant. Then one more Golbat, a couple of Zubats, also Patrick Martinez, Patrick Martinez for the energies down here. I've never seen one like this before, the fire energy down here. It has just stripes straight across it, that's kind of interesting looking. I do like that the, the energies tend to change a little bit every every generation of cards. Um, we've got another muscle band and more Zubats, and then just a whole bunch more energies. So we might have hit the energy portion of the binder. Looks like it. Got a nice mix of stuff. Oh, there's a few more in the back. So we've got one special energy, which is a shield energy. The card can only be attached to a metal Pokemon, provides metal energy, blah 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 blah. Attacks your Pokemon, or opponent's Pokemon, does 10 less damage to the metal Pokemon this card's attached to before applying weakness and resistance. So that's not a bad one to have. Then we got Noibat, Rufflet, Litleo, Big Malasada, Voldor, and Makuhita. And then our last page has... Alright, Barboach, Crab Brawler, Stuffle, and Orn Guru. Oh, and Passamian. So that's fun, one of each on there. Hello, how? Wave back to you. So that's all she wrote. But I could not even tell you how excited I was when my sister walked in and was like, Hey, these are for you. Got a whole bunch of cool stuff. I got that that Gengar is brand new to me. All these these Litleo and or sorry Litten and Torcat and Incineroar. That's really cool. I love. Oh, and I didn't even see this earlier. Um, I don't know if it's coming across on video very well. The middle Kling Clang up there is actually holographic, but um the the Shatter Hollow Incineroar. Just a whole bunch of cards that I could not be happier to have. Well, okay, I lied. I'd be a little happier if this poor card was in better condition. That is probably the most, mm, second most beat up card I have ever seen. But there's a few old cards in here. I love that Kadabra. That's going straight into my binder. That unknown's really cool. And just that front page of wow, we look at all this cool stuff I've gotten as I've collected Pokemon cards over the years. Like, that's just really cool. You can tell this person really put a, love, a lot of love and thought into what they were collecting. So gave it this nifty mega alakazam you know front the binders beat to hell honestly like it is not in good shape so we'll get these cards all taken care of um thanks for sticking with me thanks for for showing up to the video i had a lot of fun doing this it's probably i think it's actually the first time i've done a video like this and if it's not the first then is it for sure the first going 
up on the channel, but I really don't think I've done another one like this. Um, I think I, I went through one of my binders just a tiny bit to be like, oh yeah, here's my EX cards. Okay, anyway, we're doing something. So if you want to see more like this in the future, let me know. Obviously, it'll be dependent on when and if I get more cards in this manner. But I had a blast doing this. It's really perked my day, which wasn't even a bad day to start with. It just has gotten better and better as the day has gone on. So I had a lot of, lot of fun. I know I always say I have fun. This really takes the cake for today. But anyway, keep being you, keep doing what you do. I hope to see you for, I'm gonna guess, probably next one will be a mini poll Monday. This will probably be my Thursday video. But I'm, I'm still filming it Sunday that I did before mini poll Monday. So we'll see when it goes up. But anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you have a great whatever day this is. See you later.